everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry, and I am back with a brand new plan with me video for you today. And as always, before we get into actually planning for the month of October, I always like to do a little flip through of the previous month. So we're gonna flip through everything that I put into my bullet journal in the month of September, and then we'll get into planning for October. So I'm gonna set my October insert off to the side, and we're gonna open her up. Now, with these flip throughs, at this point, like I'm gonna be flipping you through every insert in my journal. So I can show you not only my daily and weekly planning, but everything else that's gone into my journal in the month of September. So we're gonna start with my very first insert. And one thing that you'll notice is I have a few of these clear dashboard covers. These are from Chic Sparrow and I love them. And I thought they would be great just to protect a few of the covers of my notebooks, like especially this one up front can rub up against everything in these front pockets. So I thought it would be really nice to have that there. All right, so my very first insert is my goals insert. And I haven't added a whole lot in here. I think you've seen pretty much all of this, my 18 before 2018 list, my workout plans, a five week workout plan. I've got my level 10 life and my level 10 goals. And then I added in, I started taking some daily supplements. So I kind of created a schedule for myself on those daily supplements. And then I kind of made a makeshift shopping list here for myself. These are all healthy foods that I wanna keep in the house or that I know that I wanna eat on a regular basis. So I decided to add that in here as well. And that is it for my goals insert. After that, we have my regular collections, which as of right now, we've got my Tombow dual brush pen color chart, which you've seen, my Tombow twin tone dual tip markers. And then this spread, I did a little Oracle card reading um, earlier in the month, yeah, on the 4th, I dated it there. But I just wanted to kind of note everything that was on the cards and how they made me feel and like before and after, etc. So I did a little spread there for that. After that, I have my Tombow dual brush pens in pastel and galaxy. I have those color charts there so I know what they are. And then on the right hand side, I started playing around with drawing cacti, cactus and succulents from Peggy Dean's new botanical line drawing book. I had reviewed her floral botanical line drawing book earlier this year and she just sent me the new cactus and succulent one. So I'm gonna have a review for that very, very soon. But I just wanted to play around and draw some different cacti. So I did that there. All right, so that's it for my regular collections. And then up next I have my monthly collections. This is the other side of that first dashboard insert. I have it wrapped around two notebooks there. All right, so my monthly collections, I have my index up front, so I have September and my gratitude log and my habit and mood tracker. So I have my gratitude log filled out here. We still have quite a few days left in the month, so I'll probably fill that in completely. And then my habit tracker and my mood tracker, same as I do every month. All right, and then we have my September insert. And this is another one that I have one of those clear dashboard covers around this notebook because I use it so much. I thought it might be nice to have that cover on there kind of protecting it. All right, so I actually filled in my future log with things coming up over the next three months. We have my monthly spread, which has been populated with a ton of events. <laughs> and then weekly spreads and daily pages. You saw some of this during one month in my bullet journal in August and then we moved into officially the month of September. And one thing I do want to note throughout September is that I didn't use a whole lot of daily pages. I've actually only used a little bit more than half of this insert. So for this last week, I'm just going to kind of feel free to use as much space as I need for notes and things like that in this insert so that I don't waste any pages. But just a little thing to note as we go along, because you'll see here I went Monday, Tuesday, skip to Thursday, and then I didn't have Friday, Saturday, or Sunday in here. It's actually because I was in Arizona for the Mind Body Green Retreat, so I didn't do any dailies there. So I have another weekly spread, and then this week here I had Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering correctly that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I was so busy 
that I didn't even bother doing daily pages. I knew what had to get done and I was just going, 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 trying to get everything finished. All right, and then this was this past week, the 18th through the 24th, and more daily pages. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can see I used almost a whole page there. Thursday, another almost whole page. Friday, quite a bit on Friday. And then the weekend, I decided instead of doing daily pages that I would just put no work. Um, my husband came home after being gone for a little while, so I wanted to make sure I got to spend quality time with him this weekend. And then we have my weekly spread for this week ahead, which is the last week of September. And October 1st actually falls on Sunday. So, oh, I just realized I didn't put the days of the week on here. Let's do that real quick while I'm looking at it. We'll do it quick and messy, that's fine. All right, that makes me feel better. <laughs> all right, so I have my weekly plan all set out for this week ahead. I do want to come in and do, like I've been doing this horizon section, so things that are coming up past this week. So I probably have a lot more I need to fill in here in this week and then continue filling out my horizon section and then I'll move on into more dailies for the rest of the week. All right, so as I was saying, even though October falls on Sunday, I decided to leave this week in September because most of the week is September. So my October insert will actually start October 2nd, Monday, October 2nd. All right, and continuing on, we have my travel insert. And normally when I show you guys my travel stuff, it's all kind of blocked out with post-it notes because I don't wanna share the pertinent information before it happens. But in this case, obviously I already went on this trip, so I thought it might be nice for you to see kind of how I organize everything before I go. And I have a ton of travel coming up in October. I'm traveling every single week in October for at least a day or two. So I'm gonna be putting a lot of travel information in here coming up. So you'll see I have an index for MBG Revitalize, and I started it at page one, and then I actually had my entire schedule for the weekend written out here, so that went through page four, and then I started taking some notes during the conference itself, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and number this page, page five, and on the index, I'm gonna put one through five, all right. There we go. And then all this travel that I have coming up in October, I need to come in here and lay out all of my plans for the month of October. All right, and then the final insert is my business insert. This is the only insert I'm not gonna invite you into. It has a lot of details about secret projects that I can't share quite yet. Hopefully one of these days I'll be able to show you my business notebook. All right, y'all, so that is it for the flip through. I'm gonna close this girl up and since it's not October yet I'm not gonna put my October insert into my traveler's notebook I'm just gonna set it up outside of my notebook so it's ready to go in as soon as October hits and this cover I actually created this design on my iPad using a tutorial a watercolor tutorial that I learned from Karen over at iPad lettering if you have an iPad and you wanna do cool like watercolor stuff like this, she has great tutorials, she has great brushes to play around with. I'll definitely put a link to her YouTube channel down below so y'all can check her out. But yeah, I created this on my iPad and just printed it out on my regular paper to use as my cover for October. All right, so in the month of October, I have decided that I'm going back to my pastel color palette. And I do want to mention that my pastel color palette is a little bit different than Tombow's pastel pack. So uh, for those of you curious, I will have the pen numbers of the Tombow dual brush pens that I use in the description box below for you. But this is my pastel color palette that I like to use usually in the fall and winter and then spring and summer I like those bright bright colors so I'm going back to pastels for a little bit and yeah so we're just going to get started and get October set up all right so for my monthly inserts I don't do an index so I'm actually just going to jump to the very first spread 
and get my notebook all ready to go and we are gonna get started. And I'm actually, instead of doing that kind of future log spread in the very front, I am gonna leave that blank. I'm planning on doing like a future calendar type little mini insert that I can put in my traveler's notebook. So stay tuned for that. I'll have more info on that in the future. But yeah, so I'm just gonna start with my monthly spread right here. And I'm gonna put on some music for you and we're just gonna get this done.
right, y'all, so that is it. I am 100% set up for October. The only thing I still need to do is set up my gratitude log and habit tracker, which I'm gonna do in my monthly collections insert. And I'll probably get that set up a little later this week. And maybe in one of my next videos next week, I'll show you a little peek at what I did there. So I'm set up for October. I've got all my appointments and events that I know of so far in here. And then I'm actually gonna go down and go through my editorial calendar for the month of October for all of my videos and blog posts and make sure that I have all of those listed here on the right hand side so that I know what's coming up and what deadlines I have to keep, anything along those lines, goals that I wanna set for this month, all that's gonna go here in the this month column. And then I will turn the page and start my very first weekly spread next week right here. All right, y'all, that is gonna do it for our October plan with me video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments section below and I will be happy to join in the conversation down there. And I will look forward to seeing you later this week. Bye.